Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and today I'm going to show you some of the stock that's been brought into the shop uh, today. Now, I've had a couple of really nice things brought in but I haven't had time to film them all and some of them have gone sadly. Had a beautiful West German music box, tin and enamel. That was really nice but unfortunately it's gone. Uh, but what I have got to show you, I've got you a heap, a heap of jewellery, massive haul, and I've got you an amazing teapot. Stay tuned, guys. Got a really interesting video. Okay, just quickly before we get going, guys, if you love antiques, collectibles, you're in the reseller business, then don't forget to subscribe because my channel's all about how-to videos. I go out buying antiques and I show you what everything's worth and how to identify it. So state your claim guys, make sure you subscribe. If the videos help you and you like them, I would really appreciate a like and a share to help me keep creating videos. Let's get to it. Okay, so if we uh, get started in today's video, um, two, two items to show you, as I said, jewelry and the teapot. Now, teapot I've had is quite spectacular. Now if we look on this side, it says Liberty and Freedom and you have a variety of flags, New Zealand, South Africa, Newfoundland, India, France, Australia, Canada and you turn it around and on this side it reads War Against Hitlerism. This souvenir teapot was made from Dyson and Horsfall of Preston to replace Aluminium stocks taken over for allied armament for using in weapons in 1939. That right shall prevail. And the piece was made, produced by Crown Ducal. Um, what can I say? It's an anti Hitler teapot. So basically, the metal way was being taken for machinery, weaponry, you know all the brass was weighed in and so forth so they made these and it's a really nice example so we've got a 1939 crown ducal real nice piece of world war ii militaria and i haven't bought it yet they brought it into the shop now i've had a look on ebay and to be honest with you i was expecting it to be worth a lot more if you stay tuned, I'll show you the types of monies these are online now. They're all over the place. Um, when I looked at this, I thought, good money, really good money, because you know what, in 20 years I haven't had one before. But um, anyway, stay tuned, we'll have a look. Okay, so I've just searched Crown Ducal, uh, the anti-Hitlerism teapot. Now, there's one here sold, best offer, they were asking £70. And if I scroll down, there was one sold on three bids on auction, sorry about that, for £47.77. Now if I come across, actually currently on eBay, you have one for 95 one for 80 and one for 89.99. So they are still good money, but they're nowhere near as uh, high as I was expecting, to be totally honest with you. £47 is quite a low price. However... I'm not going to moan. It's uh, still a really interesting piece to walk over the door and we'll see if I can buy it now when they come back. Okay, my next piece. Uh, they came in and they handed me this. And they said, we'll come back in a day or so when you worked out the price. And we we'll move that. We start off down here. We have a pretty basic silver plate tea service, the tray, the gallery tray, so, and a press glass dressing table set not in, not really um, exciting stuff uh, to be honest though it's not something I would have paid decent money for at all uh, this would have been cheap or gone to the charity shop but what interests me is this and we have one I've already been through it and filled it off um, the pieces I like. I will show you what's left in the boxes, guys. You bear with me. Okay, so now first I'm going to show you the 
way it all came and I had to sift through it now I have already sifted through and I'm going to show you what I've pulled out in just a minute this is all the stuff that is left and there's a lot of vintage costume jewellery um, and it is all costume jewellery left and there was tons and tons of the stuff come across here you know there's 70s brooches, miracle brooches, and things like that. This year had something like 50 pairs of earrings in it, all of them in packets like this. You got a Wedgwood pair there, all vintage. And if I lift the tray out, I had all bagged stuff underneath this. Let me move that. Sorry, guys. And there was necklaces and bracelets and things all bagged up. Not to mention, of course, you've got the jewellery boxes themselves. And then we had a box full of watches and bits and bobs. Now, none of this actually belongs to me yet. They brought it in and they're coming back today or tomorrow. For a price so there is nothing jump up and down left in this job lot now and I'm going to show you what I've actually separated out um, that was really good okay so this is the hole that I have had out of the jewelry boxes this is what I've selected out now I'm going to give a price for everything and the costume jewelry end up back on the car boot sale but there's hundreds of pounds worth here of scrap. If I wanted to weigh it in, there's hundreds of pounds worth of gold. Your nine karat gold cameo brooch. Beautiful cameo brooch. You got a nine karat gold rope chain. We have another nine karat gold chain there. We have two watches with nine karat gold bodies. I'm assuming that one's nine carat, I'll have to open that one, but this one is hallmarked just there. Um, we have nine carat gold, three colour necklace and bracelet. We have another nine carat gold necklace there. We have nine carat gold necklace uh, with garnets and diamonds there. A little possibly diamond ring in 9 carat again and some garnets in 9 carat we have a large selection of gold earrings as I said there's hundreds of pounds, there's a little bit of scrap, there's some good um, there's a hundreds of pounds worth of gold just in the weight alone then there's a few bits of silver, you got a nice little 77 commemorative medal, a couple of silver rings, nice little art deco one there, there's another silver ring there, some silver earrings with what looks to be amber or glass, some more gold, we've got a nice little bar brooch there, another earring. Um, and then we have this which has to be acid tested now today to see if that's gold or not certainly uh, feels gold but and it's got a safety clasp so not going to dismiss it but I'm going to have to acid test it because it's not hallmarked but everything else here is fully hallmarked and as I've said hundreds of pounds worth just in weight alone so we'll see if I uh, can buy it then I will be very happy. There's a few pieces here I'll be very keen to own. There we are, what can I say? There has been a lot of good quality gear coming in. I haven't been able to make the films for a few weeks tidy and to be honest with you, have missed quite a lot. Those gearbox cars that I showed in my one of my last few films, they sold within 24 hours. Um, so I will be keeping an eye out for them and I suggest anybody who sees those you buy them. Um, I sold them all 
literally to one person I will come in so I um, love them but I'm inside let's say 24 hours so I will keep my eye open for them um, Christmas is coming obviously I'm having a lot of uh, busy trade in the shop that's why I'm struggling to film in the shop and when I go home I'm getting the house ready for the new arrival and so on with the baby on the way so that's why the films are a bit slow but I am gonna do my best to try and pick up a little bit at the moment guys and see if I can get a couple more made the jewelry spectacular I've never had a gold cameo where they've even put a gold necklace and a diamond in the cameo so that's a rarity on his own but it was some really good quality so what can I say super happy just hope I manage to buy it all depends what they want for it um, if we can come to an arrangement and um, I'm not gonna be making a silly offer I'm gonna be offering in the hundreds um, my offer is going to probably start at about 300 to be honest with you for all that so we'll see the costume jewelry will go out down in car boot sale down in Bessemer 50p in a pound a piece but that should still pull 40 or 50 pound back and then I got that bag full of gold and silver at the end so fingers crossed if I can buy that for 300 pound I will be jumping up and down guys I'm going to leave it there keep eye on my eBay you may see some of that stuff on there very soon thanks for watching bye for now